Well, hello and welcome to this English listening practice lesson. This lesson is a little bit different. In fact, this video is a little bit different. This is a 360 degree video. That means if you're watching it on your phone and if you move your phone around, you can look all around me. You can look in all different directions. You might have to use your finger on your phone to do it. Or if you're on a computer, you can use your mouse. If you put your mouse right on the video, you can look left, right, up and down. So here's what I'm going to do. In a few moments, the scene will change and I will be hiding somewhere. You'll need to look in every direction and try to figure out where I'm hiding. And while you're doing that, you'll hear my voice kind of giving you hints. So I hope you like this English listening practice lesson. I'm trying out something new. I think it will be a lot of fun. And I'm just gonna call it, Where's Bob? It's a little bit like, Where's Waldo? At the end, after about 30 or 40 seconds of looking, I will pop out somewhere and you will be able to see me. So let's get started. I hope you enjoy this, this English listening practice lesson. So let's make this first one somewhat easy. Remember, you're trying to look in every direction and you're trying to find me. I'm actually peeking out from the place I'm hiding in right now. I am behind something. If you are looking towards the river, you are looking in the wrong direction and you'll need to turn around. I'm hiding somewhere between the barn and the house. I'm not in the house. I'm not in the barn. I'm somewhere outside in between both of those buildings. In a few seconds, you will see me jump out from behind the tree and you will have found the place where I was hiding. Now I'm running around the tree. Hopefully you found me and you see me now. This next one is a little more difficult. It's actually quite easy to find Jen, but it will be very challenging to find me. I am completely out of sight. I will tell you this. I am not in the flower bed that you see. I am not close to Jen who is out cutting flowers. You might think that I am in the bushes behind Jen, but I'm not there either. If you look in the other direction, you might think that I'm in the sunflower patch, but I'm not there either. I'm actually hiding behind something that is black and has two wheels. In a moment, you'll see me jump out from behind the trailer and climb onto the riding mower. We also sometimes call this a garden tractor, or we just call it the lawnmower. I'll let you just spend the last few seconds looking at Jen's flowers. So I decided it would be fun if I finished this lesson by going for a little drive. And while I was driving, I saw this gas station, which is under construction. I'll tell you where I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding behind the building. I'm not hiding in the building. And I'm not hiding behind any of the gas pumps. The place where I'm hiding might actually start to shake a little bit right now. And I'll tell you this, I am inside of something. And the place that I am inside of stinks quite a bit. In a moment, you will see a door open and you will see me come out of what we call a porta potty. We sometimes also call this a Johnny on the spot. It is a portable bathroom that is often found at events and on construction sites. A town close to me has a brand new roundabout. This is a roundabout. We're still getting used to roundabouts in Ontario, Canada. They are relatively new for us. Normally, we just have stop signs or four-way stops or intersections with stoplights. But lately, they've been starting to build roundabouts. I know these are very common in other parts of the world, but it's something that I'm still getting used to. It was a little bit hard to find a place to hide in the center of the roundabout. Oops, I think I just gave you a big clue. I'm somewhere in the center of the roundabout. I'm definitely not behind a tree and my feet are kind of sticking out from the place where I'm hiding. There I am popping up from behind the sign in the center of the roundabout. You can see that I'm now in an area where there are stores and there is also a restaurant that is called Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is a very popular restaurant in Canada and people go there to get coffee, donuts, or maybe something else to eat. You can see vehicles are currently going through the drive through Sometimes people don't want to get out of their vehicles when they want food, so they go through the drive through But where am I hiding? If you look closely by the front entrance of the Tim Hortons, you'll see that I was hiding just behind the building and I've now popped out and you can see that I was standing just behind the building the whole time. 
a little further down from the Tim Hortons, you'll find a grocery store as well as a hardware store. The hardware store sells many things like tools, screws, nails, basically all the stuff that you need if you want to fix something. The grocery store, of course, sells groceries, and this is the grocery store where we buy many of our groceries on a weekly basis. But where am I? Am I in the grocery store? Am I in the hardware store? Am I doing a little bit of shopping when I'm supposed to be making an English lesson for you? I'll let you look around a bit to try and figure out where I am. Oh, the door of my van just opened. I was hiding in my van the whole time. So that was a bit of a tricky one for you. Sorry about that, but I was just in my van. In Canada, we call the sport played on a field like this soccer, but I know that many of you call it football. In Canada and in the United States, football is that other game where you throw the ball and try to get touchdowns. We call this game soccer. It was actually a little bit difficult finding a place to hide. There weren't many places where I could go behind in order to hide from you when I was at the soccer field. But if you look closely at the place where soccer players try to shoot the ball towards, you might see me hiding behind one of the goalposts. In a moment, I'll jump out and do my best impression of a goalkeeper, or goalie as we sometimes say, but certainly this is a cool place for people to go when they want to play the game of soccer. Well, I'm home again, and I'm hiding. If you look towards the barn, you might catch a glimpse of Oscar sitting on the lawnmower. He really enjoys sitting there for some reason. Often when Jen is unloading the flower cart, Oscar will sit on the seat of the lawnmower. Sometimes I wonder if someday he'll learn how to start it and mow some lawn. Then he'd be able to earn his keep. Where am I though? Well, I am close to the basketball net and I've just jumped out. If you look towards the basketball net, you will see that there was a large bush. I think it might actually just be a weed and I was hiding behind it. Well, thank you so much for watching this English listening practice lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the 360 degree video and the uh, kind of cool experience that you were able to have. Um, and I hope that I can do a few more of these in the future. Maybe I'll do an, uh, a lesson like this every couple of months. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here. Thank you so much for watching this English lesson. If you're new here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button somewhere. I don't know what direction it is. And if you have a bit more time, why don't you stick around and watch another English lesson.